Hey everyone, Lucas at Laminex, and today we're going to do an installation of the Laminex Bike Frame Guard product on this bike. So what will happen is a lot of times when you're out riding on trails, whether it be intermediate trails or expert, what will happen is debris will fly up and hit these tubes of the bike frame and create damage on the bike itself. And a lot of times you're spending a significant amount of money on these bikes and you want to keep the bike looking new and fresh. So as soon as you buy the bike, or even if it's used, you can put Laminex on there which is a transparent, strong, clear protective sheet of invisible foam designed to apply right on the painted area of the tubes of your bike frame and protect against any rock chips or debris that may fly up as you're riding. So when you order your bike frame guard kit from Laminex, we're going to provide you with a few tools. And in your kit, you're going to get a 4 inch by 60 inch universal sheet of our protective film. This protective film comes in two options, which is gloss and matte. But the Laminex is 8 mils thick, very strong and durable, designed to last at least 5 years. In your kit, you'll also receive a Laminex trim tool with a retractable blade, a squeegee to help you get in there and better apply the Laminex down as you're installing, and help you complete a successful installation. And we also provide a two ounce spray bottle, which can be filled with filtered or distilled water to help you during your installation. The only thing that you will have to provide for yourself for this installation is a tape measure or a tailor's tape because you're going to have to measure the length of the tubes that you're going to want to install the Laminex protective film on and also some paper towels so you can wipe up any excess water as you're installing. Now that we've covered all the tools provided for you in your Laminex bike frame guard kit, let's get on with how to actually install this protective film onto your bike frame. Before we start installing anywhere on this bike, we're gonna to wanna to make sure the entire bike, and especially the tubes that you're gonna to wanna to protect, are completely clean using some water and a soft cloth to remove any dust, dirt, and debris, or lint, or even oils from your fingers touching the bike frame. You wanna make sure all of that is removed before you start installing the Laminex so any of that debris does not get trapped underneath the film and cause wrinkles and bubbles as you're installing. So we know that one of the biggest areas for potential damage on this bike is this main down tube here. So we're going to start installing on this piece, but first we're going to need to measure exactly how long it is using our tailors or measuring tape. And in this case, our down tube is about 19 and a half inches long, which is going to cover from the top of the tube all the way down to the bottom. And as we mentioned before, this universal sheet of Laminex is four inches wide. So that four inches will be completely wrapped around the tube and it will be protected from top to bottom. So next we just need to measure out 19 and a half inches on our universal sheet and use our Laminex trim tool to trim the Laminex into the size you need. And then kind of an advanced technique here, we're going to use our fingers kind of at the edge of the corner and use the trim tool to go around them, rounding the edges of the corners, which will make it easier to squeegee the water out from underneath this film once it's installed, as well as it'll prevent the corners of the Laminex from rising up after the installation. However, this is an optional step. So now we have a 19 and a half by four inch strip with our rounded edges. As I mentioned before, we already cleaned this down tube and detailed it very well, removing all the dust, dirt, and lint, and debris to make sure that it was ready for this installation. And now we're gonna take our two ounce spray bottle that's filled with filtered or distilled water, and we're just gonna kinda mist the down tube with just a little bit of water droplets, and that's gonna help us get this Laminex into position easier. You're also gonna wanna mist your fingertips with just a few water droplets to make sure that they don't mar the Laminex as you remove it from the liner. And now we'll remove the Laminex from the liner, and here we can take our time to take our two ounce spray bottle once more and ever so slightly mist the adhesive layer of the Laminex. And now we're actually going to line it up on the tube here, being careful that we're not gonna hit the chain sprocket so that the Laminex doesn't pick up any debris. And once this Laminex is lined up and in position, we're just gonna start with our hand using kind of a back and forth sweeping motion up and down to slowly apply this Laminex down, making sure it's evenly covering both sides as it wraps around and just kind of lightly wrap the Laminex around the tube into position. And once the Laminex is in position and gently tacked on, you can take your squeegee using four fingers on it with a moderate to firm pressure with your fingers equally distributed on it, starting up underneath the tube and slowly using your squeegee, working your way out toward the edges of the film. And all of that moisture that we actually misted on this tube, as well as the adhesive part of the Laminex, is going to help to evacuate any air pockets and any wrinkles and help to install the film down nice and clean. And if you do happen to realize that the Laminex is misaligned a little bit, you can lift up the film 
mist the area once more and apply the film back down. And you wanna work your way from the bottom of this tube to the top, making sure that the laminex is fully applied down all the way around the tube as you go up. And then the down tube on your bike is completely protected from any impact damage with laminex. And then you just wipe up the excess water. And if there's any small air bubbles or small imperfections, don't worry because over time, those small pockets and imperfections will evaporate out. Okay, so the next part of the frame that we're gonna be protecting is the top tube. So we're gonna repeat the process of measuring the exact length of laminex that we need to complete this installation and in this case it's going to be about 16 inches so once again we'll cut 16 inches off from our 60 inch universal sheet and we're going to kind of test fit it because in this case the cables on the bike kind of run into the chassis so toward the back of this tube the laminex is actually going to have to apply around that wire so we're going to have to complete a custom trim where that wire actually goes into the bike so we'll mark it with our finger about where we have to trim on the film and we're actually going to give it a relief cut and just cut a tiny circle in. That way the laminex is not rubbing up against that wire as it's going into the chassis. And once again, we'll use our finger to kind of help us round the corners of this film here just to make the installation a little bit easier. And then we're gonna mist the top tube with our filtered or distilled water and make sure it's all saturated on all sides and underneath before removing the laminex from the liner and missing the adhesive side of the film. And then we'll kind of slide the laminex into position, making sure it goes around that wire that's going into the chassis, but still covering the entire area that we want to protect on this top tube. Once again, if we realize it's misaligned a little bit, we can pull it back up and tack it back down. Just gently tacking it into position and letting the laminex fall into place. And then we'll miss the outside layer of the laminex. And that's just gonna serve as a lubrication layer. As we take our squeegee, once again, with a moderate to firm pressure, with our four fingers equally distributed on it, to start fully applying that laminex down, working our way from the top of the tube, pushing the water out from underneath the film on the sides. Just moderate fluent sweeping motions all the way down down this tube. The key is to make sure that the laminex is equally lined up as you're tacking it on. So as you squeegee, the laminex should fall into place and cover each side of the tube equally. And we'll use our fingers to make sure that the laminex is fully applied down around where this wire goes into, making sure it lines up properly where we have our relief cut. And then we'll once again dry up the tube from all the excess water using our soft cloth. So now your top tube is completely protected with our laminex protective films. The sides and bottom are completely protected so if anything flies up from the chain or the wheels and hits the side or the bottom is completely protected from any rubbing from your legs or anything else that you may be carrying on your bike your paint will be completely protected from both any rubbing damage or impact damage and moving on next we're going to protect this little piece on the bottom of the seat tube that probably takes a lot of impact damage between the wheel kicking stuff up and the chain right behind it so we're gonna put a piece of laminex on the back of this seat tube here to make sure that the paint no longer takes any damage from anything thrown onto the frame from the wheels or the chain. We're also going to repeat our installation process on the front of the bike, protecting both the fork piece area and the top head tube because these are once again areas that are at prime risk due to impacts from the wheel throwing up debris. So we're just going to repeat the same process we've been doing on these parts of the bike to make sure this bike is fully protected. So now all the areas on this bike frame that are known to catch major impact damage are fully protected with our Laminex bike frame guard. The Laminex will take all the abuse from all this impact, scuffing, and scraping damage to keep your bike looking new for up to five years to come. If you want to learn more about how you can use our Laminex bike frame guard to protect your mountain bike, visit Laminex.com for more information. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Take care.